I decided to become a molecular biologist because um, when I did my PhD, the thesis was actually on genetics. But at the time, uh, we were using molecular biology tools partnered with genetics to, to do our projects, to, to do our experiments. And molecular biology was very new at that time, and it was very exciting, and I really loved it. Um, and so when I, when I got my PhD and I went out to look for jobs, the thing that people were really excited about was the fact that I had molecular biology skills. And that's really how I ended up in that area. Um, so uh, I went on to do a couple postdoc positions. I did um, a project with um, brain tumors, re doing research on brain tumors that I have some publications from. Uh, I looked at type 2 diabetes in a Pima Indian tribe in, uh, near Phoenix. Um, I did a, a lot of research in that area, and um, it all involved molecular biology. We had to use molecular biology tools to do that. So then when I moved here to San Diego in 1998, it was biotechnology, of course, and the tools we use here are molecular biology. So that's how I ended up in the field of molecular biology and stayed in the field of molecular biology. And I still get to use uh, my genetics background because that's part of some of the projects that I've worked on too.